Joe Biden, also known as uh, Sleepy Joe Biden, that's what Trump calls him, or as I call him, Hansy Uncle Joseph, he, uh, he took a shot at Bernie. Uh, Biden apparently realizes that he's totally flailing and, and not doing so well in the polls, and so he's going after Bernie because Bernie's the front runner. Here he is on Meet the Press. Let's see what he had to say. I think one of the things that people are looking for more than anything else is the authenticity. Oh, you're going to get me out of this? Are you going to figure a way through here? Healthcare isn't, isn't that Bernie's strength, though. That well, everybody knows. Like, one thing about Bernie, you know where he stands. You know who he is. He doesn't right. change. And I mean, isn't and he's that never got anything done? I'm, I'm not being. I mean, no, he's, I get he's a it. decent guy. I, I mean, he's been talking about health care, me Medicare for all, universal health care mm -hmm. for 35 years. Nothing's happened. I helped get past Obamacare. Well, actually, uh, Bernie Sanders helped write Obamacare. Obviously, the ideal plan is single-payer Medicare for all, um, and he tried to get the president to go in that direction and to get the Democrats to go in that direction, but you idiots stopped him. That's not his fault. That is your fault. Um, but when push came to shove, he decided, I better improve millions of lives right now. So he helped write Obamacare. Um, and for... Joe Biden is say, well, he never got anything done. Really? Well, let's take a look at what he actually has gotten done. I'll just give you a few off this list here, but I think it's really important that we go through it. This is from Warren Gunnels, Bernie's policy advisor. He's giving the history here. Bernie provided 9 million more Americans with primary health care, 2 million more with dental care, and 860,000 with more mental health services through a $12.5 billion expansion in community health centers. That, I believe, was the part of Obamacare that he helped write. Uh... He raised the minimum wage of 350,000 Amazon workers to at least $15 an hour. That was after the Stop Bezos bill. Uh, he increased the wages of over 60,000 Disney workers to at least $15 an hour. That was after a, a pressure campaign from Bernie. Uh, he restored $320 million in pension benefits to 130,000 IBM workers. Seven states and over 40 cities passed a $15 an hour minimum wage law. This is after Bernie Sanders campaigned on that, marched with unions, and, and did a whole bunch of work on the ground. There's a lot of credit that goes to Bernie, as well as working people who fought for it. Um, number six, he passed a veterans legislation with John McCain, providing $5 billion to hire more doctors and nurses to the VA. Passed legislation ending our involvement in the Saudi-led war in Yemen, and then Trump went on to veto that, thereby sentencing more Yemeni babies to die because of a Saudi genocide. Number eight, passed the first and only audit of the Federal Reserve in 2010 that was bipartisan. Number nine, passed the National Affordable Housing Trust Fund Act. Number ten... He uh, prevented Social Security cuts to seniors and disabled veterans. Number 11, he stopped the Postal Service from closing up to 15,000 post offices and over $100 million, uh, 100, excuse me, ma mail processing plants. I don't know where I got a million dollars from. Ending um, Saturday mail and slashing over 100,000 jobs. So um, I'll, I'll stop there, but the list goes on and on. Bernie's gotten a lot done. And in fact, there was a nickname for him in Washington, D.C. that goes back quite a while. They called him the Amendment King because he was always able to slip in little provisions here and there that would massively help people. He's actually fighting for people. And this reminds me, actually, of when, um, you know, the the 2016 race when um, Hillary and them rigged it, but Bernie bowed out at the end, and people were like, oh, why is he taking so long to endorse Hillary? You want to know why? I know why. It was reported. He wanted ex policy extractions from her. See, that's where any other politician, that's where a Joe Biden type of politician goes behind closed doors and says, what's in it for me? What position will you give me in your administration? How do I get something out of this? What did Bernie Sanders do? He got behind closed doors with Hillary Clinton and he said, okay, what do I have to do to get you to sign on to my free college bill? That's the kind of guy we're talking about. That's the kind of guy we're talking about. And, um... It's incredibly admirable, and he's gotten a lot done in his career, and this is up against a tsunami of BS and corporatism. The fact that he got anything done at all with the neoliberal centrist corporatist mindset in his own party, that says a lot, and that speaks to how effective he is as a legislator. And um, I'll go out there and say, it. even if Bernie didn't get anything done, I would still support him, because on paper he supports the right things, and I know he'll do everything he can to try to implement those correct policies. So even if what Biden was saying is true, and it's not, but even if it was true, I'd be like, I don't care, he's still correct. 
He's still correct. Biden's, uh, you know, compromises are compromises that screw over working people by and large. Various outsourcing deals, for example. You know, the Iraq war. I want somebody who will compromise with the right on our terms. That's Bernie. He agreed. He worked with Mike Lee of Utah to try to end the U.S. support for the genocide in Yemen. That's what I want. I don't want somebody like, you know, Joe Biden or, or Joe Manchin who are like, oh, great. How can I work with Republicans to do what they want, like Wall Street deregulation? I don't want that. So, um, Joe, you look very sleepy and um, you'll have all the time in the world to relax, lay around and sleep uh, when you continue to get destroyed in this primary.